Hi, I'm Vicki DeClerc Rubin, the Executive Director of the Validation Training Institute. VTI was created in 1982 by my mother, Naomi File. The mission hasn't really changed since then. We are a not-for-profit organization that advances knowledge, values, education, and research rooted in the validation method. Our ultimate objective is to nurture respect, dignity, and well-being in the lives of older adults experiencing cognitive decline and their caregivers. I want to introduce you to Naomi File, the founder of Validation and VTI. Naomi was born in Munich, Germany, and came to the United States in 1937 when she was just four years old. Her father got a job as the administrator at the Montefiore Home for the Aged in Cleveland, Ohio. The whole family moved in. They lived in five rooms in the home. As my mom tells it, the old people were my friends and my neighbors. Decades later, Naomi returned to the Montefiore home as a social worker and started doing what she had trained to do at Columbia School of Social Work, group work. Starting in the 1960s and 70s, Naomi experimented with many different ways to encourage communication with the very old people in her group. Being a creative and curious person, she tried many different methods and techniques from neuro-linguistic programming to karate. She integrated what worked into her method using trial and error. In 1982, she published her first book, Validation, the File Method. In the decades that followed, Naomi did over a thousand workshops in North America and over a thousand in Europe. And that's not counting her workshops in Australia, the Far East, and Africa. In 1982, VTI was founded to support Naomi's work. It now has a board of trustees that meets quarterly, normally by teleconferencing, since we are spread out over nine time zones and two continents. This group of volunteers is responsible for long-term strategic planning and problem solving. Board members come from the health, education, technology, and marketing sectors. Currently, the board is made up of five women and five men from the United States, Spain, and Switzerland. VTI has a very small staff made up of part-time contractors and volunteers. Let me introduce you to the team. Janice Stoddard is our manager and has been working with validation since 1998. She's someone to reach out to if you need help or have a question. Nancy Brown is our deputy director and handles communications between VTI and our most important stakeholders, AVOs, teachers, partners, and donors. Davis Jackson and his team at Plain Spoken Digital handle all our social media and marketing. Joanna Atta is our webmaster. She keeps our virtual office and online courses easy to use and looking great. AVOs are authorized validation organizations. These local organizations have a contract with VTI that gives them the right to offer certification courses in their country and the responsibility to follow the quality standards included in the VTI Quality Manual. Only AVOs can certify courses. This is a way of ensuring the integrity of the validation method. AVOs can also offer other types of training, basic courses, family courses, and so on. Certified validation teachers 
have completed three certification levels and done a co-training with an experienced teacher. These experts work with AVOs to deliver these courses. Many certified validation teachers work freelance and some work full-time at the larger AVOs. Today, there are AVOs in 14 countries, over 8,000 people certified in validation, and it is accepted as an evidence-based method for communicating with older adults living with Alzheimer's and other dementias. Know that the validation of today is not the validation of 1982. Significant changes have been made to the theory, practice, and teaching of the method. Those changes are carefully chosen by a team of master teachers who make up VTI's education committee. Validation has a long, rich history. It remains relevant and vital today. Welcome to the validation community.